The Cincinnati Bearcats are coming off a 2014 conference championship and are a favorite to land in the Americans' inaugural championship game out of the East Division this season. Junior quarterback Gunnar Keel returns after an impressive first season at UC. He threw six touchdowns in his college debut and passed for over 3,000 yards last fall. Keel now has experience around him as well with his top seven receivers returning. Slot receiver Shaq Washington is on his way to becoming the Cincinnati career leader in reception, while wideouts Mikhail McKay and Chris Moore are also threats that Keel can turn to. On the ground, three running backs have been competing in the offseason for the starting job. Mike Boone, who led the Bearcats with 650 rushing yards last year as a true freshman, has been battling against Jose Williams and Keon Green. Keel started all 13 games last year, but struggled with several injuries throughout the course of the season. If Keel can stay healthy in 2015, the Bearcats offense will be an entertaining and talented group to watch this fall. Where there'll be bigger question marks is the defense. They struggled last season and will have to deal with the losses of Jeff Luke, Nick Temple, and Terrell Hartsfield. Defensive end Silverberry Muhan is the top returnee among the front seven. UC will also have its third defensive coordinator in three seasons under head coach Tommy Tuberville. Steve Klingscale and Robert Prunty will serve as co-defensive coordinators this season. Klingscale will call the play on game days. Taking a quick look at Cincinnati's schedule, they have quite a few tests, both in and out of conference. In their non-conference schedule, they'll take on Miami and BYU, and in league play, they'll open up on the road at Memphis before taking on UCF, Houston, and East Carolina in the second half of the season. Up next, we have Tom Gresham on the phone to give us an inside look at the Bearcats straight from Cincinnati. Welcome back. We're now joined on the phone by Tom Gresham, sports reporter at the Cincinnati Inquirer. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us today, Tom. Thank you. Appreciate it. So there's a lot to talk about when it comes to Cincinnati football this year, but let's kick things off with an offense that I know a ton of people are excited to watch this season. Quarterback Gunnar Keel returning. Great season for Gunnar last fall, but he struggled with a ton of injuries. What has Gunnar been working on in the offseason the most, and is he healthy and ready to go? Well, uh, the last reports we had is he was healthy. We haven't seen him, of course, directly for a couple uh, months, but he's been working to improve his core strength. Um, his upper body, his uh, ribs and back. He suffered back and rib injuries last year and missed parts of four games. He did start every game, but he wasn't entirely healthy for every game. He, um, he's also working to improve his accuracy. He threw 13 interceptions last year. He did set a school, tie a school record with 31 touchdown passes, but first year quarterback, he was upset with himself for throwing 13 interceptions. So just a matter of seeing the field better, throwing on the run a little bit better. He's been working on that also. And lucky for Gunner, he has his top seven receivers returning. Who do you expect to be the big name out of that group? Well, Shaq Washington uh, is a senior. He's got a chance. He's on pace to become the UC school all-time receiving leader in terms of receptions. He's more of a slot receiver, but he's the go-to guy when they need a big catch, when they need a first down. They have some other big play threats, Chris Moore and Mikhail McKay especially. They're more touchdown threats, they're bigger guys. But the go-to guy, like I said, in terms of getting your big catch is uh, Shaq Washington. He's on the Bolitnikoff Award, uh, the watch list for the second straight year. And switching gears, let's talk about the defense. They seem to have some bigger question marks and will have their third coordinator in three seasons. What's the defense shaping up to look like? Well, the defense is a big, big question mark, as you mentioned. Um, they were 96th in the country last year in defense, and they had to have a late surge in the second half of the season just to get to that point. Uh, Coach Tuberville speaks to maybe a lack of uh, uh, speed, athleticism. They need to upgrade that. It really shows up when they play the big Power 5 schools, such as Ohio State and Miami of Florida last year, the lack of relative lack of speed. Uh, they've done well inside their own league with that, but they're trying to upgrade that through recruiting, and they think they have a little bit. In a slightly different dynamic in the conference this season with two divisions, how do you see Cincinnati fitting in against the tough East Division? Well, most everything I read picks them to finish first in the division, and mainly, again, that's based on their offense, I think, uh, for obvious reasons. 
you mentioned all the receivers they have coming back. They also have most of their top running backs returning, uh, a good portion of their offensive line. So they're very strong offensively, and again, defense is a big question mark. They might just have to outscore people, and they may be able to do that with the offense they have uh, inside the league. They should be near the top. And lastly, are there any games early in the schedule that you think might be defining in terms of what kind of year the Cincinnati team is going to have? Early in the schedule, well, a big game for them, it, it's actually outside the league when they play Miami uh, of Florida. That's uh, in October in different Stadium. But it, it's they, they should win their first game, Alabama A&M. They play uh, Miami, they're the local Miami. Of Ohio, that should be a win for them. Uh, I'm interested to see again how they fare against the Power Five teams like the Miami Hurricanes. So that could really give an indication of that they have a shot to uh, win the division, get up, maybe get to the championship game of the league, and get to one of the bigger bowl games. Uh, I think that that game to me is going to show how far they've come. That might be a good indicator. All right, Tom. Well, thanks for joining us on the show today. I appreciate you having me. Thank you. Again, Tom Gresham, the Cincinnati Inquirer. The Bearcats kick off their season at home September 5th against Alabama A&M. For the American Digital Network, I'm Haley Allen.